Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and today I'm going to be doing an overview of all of the trends that I've been really into coming into 2023 as well as the trends I'm not so into because I love watching these videos. I put them on like a podcast and it just gets me so inspired to thrift and style my own closet in different ways as well as try new things. So I hope this does the same for you. This time last year I made this exact same video and it was really fun to reflect back on um, as far as like what trends continued and what I did end up liking or didn't. I've just been really craving sitting down and chatting so I have a feeling there will be a lot more videos like this in the new year. If you're into that please subscribe. The first thing I wanted to talk about are hobo bags. These used to be really popular in the 2000s. My mom always had a big bag just like full of stuff and it was so heavy. But within the past few years, I feel like bags just have been getting smaller and smaller and very, very structured. The Jacques Mousse Chiquito bag, I feel like was just like the tipping point in terms of bags reaching as small as they could possibly go. So it's just funny to see like the full life cycle of this trend. And I definitely would be happy to have like a really gorgeous weaved Bottega leather uh, hobo bag on my shoulder. I know there is one at Anthropology that looks very similar, but I would always rather thrift something than get like a dupe, um, especially when it comes to leather and bags. Getting secondhand leather is always gonna be your most sustainable option. Midi skirts, put them in the back of your closet for now. Maxi skirts are having their moment. They elongate your body. I feel like they are so elegant and I still love a mini skirt. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like right now maxis or minis is the way to go. Anything in between just isn't doing it for me unless you're wearing a tall boot that kind of connects the length in between. I've just been loving maxi skirts and I, I don't see that stopping anytime soon. I've been feeling that way for a while and it just made me so happy to see other people agree with me because I love being right. I feel like this goes hand in hand with the hobo bags and that is really oversized silhouettes in general, but specifically with pants. I have been seeing huge flowy pants on everyone, regardless of gender identity. I think giant pants are in, like flooding at the ankles, so long you have to roll them up, bootleg cuts and straight leg cuts. You can disagree with me, but I just really love the look of not only a large pant, but a large sweater on top, large bag, a scarf. There was a specific image in here that I can pull up that like, I just wanna be that. I loved it, loved it. Um, Obviously this is kind of more of a fall and winter trend. I'm mostly focusing on like current right now trends. So like in the summer, this might be hard to replicate, but yeah, I've just been really into the big old pants. Um, pointed kitten heeled boots. I have just been eating these up. I have been seeing them on Pinterest and on TikTok. And I think that they just kind of make every single outfit look so chic. And I have lately just been wanting to feel more effortless and chic. I don't wanna have like a super clunky boot. I want to look like teeny tiny little heels walking like that, you know? I don't own a pair yet, but I could definitely see myself wearing them. And I just feel like they're really elegant and honestly pretty classic. Like these have been around for a long time, especially in like the 90s. So I feel like they honestly could be a pretty good investment that you could wear for a long time. I also have still been loving riding boots. I feel like the light brown ones got really popular over the spring and summer. I got a pair from Fry. They are the campus boots and I still love them. I've been styling them with like sweaters and skirts during the fall and winter, but I've also seen a rise in like black riding boots and especially some with hardware. And I just think they're really cute. They, they look really nice juxtaposed with a soft soft, flowy, like nicer outfit. I feel like a riding boot is a nice way to try out a more casual boot without going full cowboy boot because they are still like in the same genre to me. 
kind of random, but I have been absolutely scouring everywhere for a varsity jacket. And I finally found one at the Venice flea market. I've always been kind of like a statement jacket girl throughout all of my life. If you've been following me for a long time, I had like a bright red Coca-Cola jacket. Then I had like a yellow, black and red motorcycle jacket. I needed a varsity jacket. And the one that I got is burgundy. I will definitely style it in a video soon. I feel like everyone's been talking about this, but off the shoulder tops. I am very intrigued because I have always long hated a boat neck but this is like taken even further. It's fully off the shoulders and I feel like I just need to try it out, but I really like the way that they look. Again, I just feel like it's very 90s effortless and chic and that right there is what I want my fashion style and sense to be. I do like the one from Paloma Wool, this sweater that they're selling, it's just gorgeous, but with a style that I'm like iffy on, I always like to spend as little money as possible without going for a fast fashion option, so thrifting. I'm gonna call this making athleisure cute because everybody's talking about ballet core and I think that that is amazing. Personally, it's not my style, but I do love that people are making athleisure cute in their own ways, whether you're adding on a pink sweater, a leather jacket, hair bows, uh, an all monochromatic look. I think it can be cool. And I talked about this on TikTok because I just never feel like myself when I'm in athleisure. It's tight, it's synthetic, a lot of time it's bright colors. It just doesn't really vibe with my personal style. Obviously, when you're going to a workout class, you don't need to be strutting a look. But um, as someone that doesn't absolutely love to work out, I feel like making it more fashionable and making it slightly more me is a way to get me to work out because I would be excited about showing off my little fit, if that makes sense. And lastly, a trend or thing that I am definitely gonna try and infuse into my wardrobe is pops of color. This isn't a new trend. None of these are, trends are cyclical, but I've just been seeing pops of like Kelly green and yellow, really bright cobalt blue and red that have interested me just because I've been seeing them more and more and really warming up to it. That is it for the trends that I have been loving, that I'm interested in thrifting, that I have my eyes on. And now for just a couple things that aren't going to be on my thrifting list that I just personally am not really into, but it's okay if you like them and I think that they look good on other people. I just don't like them for me, okay? Disclaimer over. Shrugs or boleros, specifically the kind that like cross over your collarbones. I think the kind that look like sleeves are cuter, but at the same time, both of them are not really gonna keep you that warm. They don't fulfill much of a purpose. And I feel like five years from now, you're not gonna still be wearing it. And they don't hold like a lot of resale value in your closet. It's not a great investment. And they just don't make a lot of sense to me. I don't really 100% see the appeal. I briefly mentioned this earlier, but I have been feeling myself getting further and further away from super chunky platform shoes, especially the kind that have no heel where it is just like two or three inches of straight sole. I still absolutely love my platform Doc Martens. I feel like that's different. It's only like an inch of platform. It's over that, that we're starting to get into like moon boot territory. And I used to really love an exaggerated chunky shoe. And now I've been leaning more into like daintier things, which is just, I guess how style changes. So as you can imagine, I am not a fan of platform Uggs. So many people love them. So I'm sorry if you like them, but they just don't do it for me. I would really only wear like the Tasman slippers and wear them as a slipper inside or like to walk the dog, not necessarily as like an outfit, but to each their own. I'm sure they're really comfortable. And lastly, we're gonna end on a 50-50 for me, which is pleated skirts, plaid and not plaid. I just feel like 
sometimes I like them, sometimes I hate them. If it's too short, it's giving Britney Spears. And if it's too long, it's giving Catholic school trauma. So for that reason, I just tend to avoid them. I love a plaid skirt and maybe like a plain pleated skirt could work. You can tell me what you think, but thank you for tuning in. I had a really fun time just sitting and chatting about trends. It's getting kind of gloomy in my apartment because it's been raining in LA, but I want to do more sit down and chatty videos because I am a Gemini. I have so many opinions and I love to chat. Let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about or ask me questions in the comments and I will see you with a new video very soon. Bye guys.